Good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Saturday, the 2nd of March, 2024. Um, a full RPG day. And I just want to say, even though I am fully enjoying all the RPGs that I'm playing, what we're seeing distinctly this week is evidence that too many RPGs in too short an amount of time is too much. I, I knew this would happen. Okay, I just knew it. I told you guys months ago, I foresaw between January, February, and March that there was going to be way too much RPG gameplay, and that was all that was coming out, and I was concerned about that, you know? I don't know why game developers don't look into it and say, wow, maybe we shouldn't all, re you know, release our same similar genre of game back-to-back. -back. It's kind of counterproductive to do that, um, but they did it anyway. And, I mean, this is even with me skipping Persona 3, Reload, as well as that Grand Blue RPG, and kind of only picking and choosing the ones that I liked more, it's still too much. And definitely it's represented now because after my podcast ends, attendance do do just dips on no matter what RPG I'm playing. Doesn't matter if it's Final Fantasy VII, Baldur's Gate 3, Like a Dragon. RPGs just aren't cutting it when it's all you're playing. The only other game I have in the mix right now is uh, Tekken 8. And although I get a decent crowd for that, it's definitely not the crowd that I have for Street Fighter VI. So I'm happy that in a couple of weeks we've got new games. You know, we're going to have the Star Wars Battlefront collection, which is, should be amazing because that game is so good. Well, Battlefront 1 and 2 are both so good. And they're going to be really fun to play online. Um, <clears throat> Rise of the Ronin, which definitely looks like a completely different style of game. But, you know, on the podcast, as I've been talking about last day or two, I really strongly think at this point we've got to skip Dragon's Dogma 2 for now. Like, I'll probably maybe play it later. How on earth am I going to be playing, like, four RPGs at once? It doesn't work. There needs to be more variety of games coming out, and outside of an indie game here or there, there really isn't anything else of note coming out, so I'm kind of stuck with what's out right now, you know? So, based on everything going on, all right, I did make the definitive decision that I will be playing Baldur's Gate 3 more this week. Allow me to explain how today went. Allow me to tell you the schedule for the next couple of days so you know what's going on. Okay, so basically today, started off with the Level 1 podcast explaining how much more I'm liking Final Fantasy VII Rebirth now because it went open world. That the open world is vibrant, full of content, very well done, and basically kind of what you always wanted in an RPG back in the day when you were playing like classics of the 90s. Man, if only the graphics were amazing or this or that, and now they are, right? So I'm loving it, you know? But, yeah, you know, unfortunately seeing that you know, attendance dipping and the like, it's concerning. Um, you know, yesterday was an incredibly supported day. Both streams of Final Fantasy VII and my Tekken stream were really highly supported, and I appreciate that. Um, today, we went right back to the drawing board, just like as if yesterday never happened. Uh, the Final Fantasy VII stream uh, had lower attendance. Basically, half the people who started watching the playthrough are watching it still. They've kind of, people just like, eh, it's an RPG, which sucks because I feel it's the best. Like, of all the ones I'm playing right now, honestly, right now I'm having the best time with Final Fantasy VII. I'm being honest now. Because some people are like, what about Baldur's Gate 3? What about Like a Dragon? Listen, I like them, but Final Fantasy VII right now is, like, on a different level for me. I really like this game. Um, but it's just overload. So, you know, immediately attendance dips. I mean, we do have some people around who are very engaged, which I appreciate, but you can definitely tell the conversation in the chat gets derailed, goes off in other tandem, tandems, which I'm not going to do. I'm trying to play the game and concentrate on it. Um, and support was awful. You know, we didn't even hit the $50 tips goal on the first stream. And, you know, we did, at the end of the stream, we had a couple people coming in with some super chats, which I very much appreciate. But overall, not very good for a daytime stream at all. Okay? The late stream was like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Um, oh, by the way, I should say, where we ended in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, we did all the open world content in the first region, the Grasslands, and now when I play it again later this week on Tuesday, we're going to start the next story beat, whatever it is. I don't know. I'm, we're going to go down to that marsh where in the original game there was the giant snake. And you couldn't fight it. You had to outrun it with the chocobos, and then you go to the next area. That might be what we're doing on Tuesday. I'm not sure if they added anything else, but we're definitely doing the story on Tuesday because we did everything else in the area, okay? Tonight in Like a Dragon Infinite Well. Great progress in the story. We finished Chapter 7. Lots of fun combat, a dungeon, a big story development where now, basically, Kiryu and Kasuga are separated. Kiryu has returned to Japan, and Kasuga has stayed in Hawaii. So now they're doing their own thing. And now we have two different parties that have formed of different characters, which is kind of neat. Um, and basically where we ended tonight is I have new jobs that I'm trying out with the characters, 
and now when we play again, we're going to be heading into this Yokohama storyline with Kiryu, and I'm excited to see where that goes because I don't know. So, uh, great stream. Now, for those who were there, they were engaged. We had a good time. But, once again, it's a late night chill stream. That's the stream that I kind of expect to be slow, and it totally was. You know, again, didn't hit the tier one tips goal. To barely made 20 bucks on the whole stream. Um, that The thing is, with Like a Dragon, I kind of expect that. Like, that's the point of having a late night chill stream, is that's the game that's going to be just more relaxing, and it's not about worrying about how the stream does. The problem is when the daytime stream is also ridiculously slow, that's when it's concerning. So we went from a slow launch of Final Fantasy VII to a day where people were engaged and very supportive to a day where it dwindled again. So it's, what, what this is telling me is it's not that Final Fantasy VII is a bad game. People are tired of these RPGs. They're not going to come out for them. And I need to not just play the same RPG over and over. I need to make ver variety. And I'm going to do that this month when other games come out, you know, but I have to get to that point. So, you know, being that people are screaming for Baldur's Gate and mad that I didn't play it yet this week, I think what we're going to have to do is start <clears throat> alternating between Baldur's Gate and Final Fantasy VII on Monday. So let's talk about that. First of all, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> tomorrow is React Day, meaning no gameplay tomorrow anyway. It's going to be me doing my podcast here on DSP Gaming in the morning. Then we're going to go over to DSP Reacts for DSP vs. the Internet, the weekly clip show, the playlist of which I'm about to make right now after I finish recording this. And then the late stream is going to be Retro React over on DSP Throwback, where we're going to continue on reacting to the Heavy Rain playthrough. You know, two weeks strong. These streams have done really well. You guys have definitely enjoyed them and supported them. I'm more than happy to continue doing this every Sunday night if you guys like it that much and we keep it up. So let's... uh do that tomorrow night. I'm excited for more. The Heavy Rain playthrough has been great. Can't wait to continue on further into it. <clears throat> so, that's tomorrow night, all right? Monday, we will resume gameplay, and this is the big change to the schedule. Monday's daytime stream will be Baldur's Gate 3. Originally, I was only going to play Baldur's Gate 3 on Wednesday, but being that already within three days, you know, 14 hours of gameplay, um, I take that back. 11 hours of gameplay. The attendance and support is already dwindled for Final Fantasy VII. RPG overload in effect. People have been screaming for Baldur's Gate 3 and saying they'll support it. Baldur's Gate 3 will be Monday. Okay? And then Monday night will not be a stream at all. Because on Monday night, I need to actually do personal stuff behind the scenes. But then Tuesday will be Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth and Tekken 8. Wednesday will be Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon. That's the streaming week for me. Okay? And my plans moving forward for the month, for the next couple of weeks. <clears throat> Alternate. Baldur's Gate, Final Fantasy 7. Baldur's Gate, Final Fantasy 7 on the day streams, okay? That way, everyone gets their fix. Hopefully, people will eventually come by the Final Fantasy 7 streams and support them. Um, I can't really make people do that. I mean, it's a brand new game. It's literally my favorite of the RPGs I'm playing, and it's really good. But, I, I again, this is the problem. When I've been playing RPGs nonstop since December, and the other new games coming out are either duds or more RPGs, it's going to happen, and I get it, but I wish that there was more going on. There's just not. I tried Pal World. It lasted, what, three sessions, four sessions, and we're done with it. <clears throat> you know Suicide Squad would have been a waste of time bust. You know that if I played Helldivers, we'd probably play it once or twice, be bored, because I'm not teaming up with established allies, and it's not going to work. I'm doing whatever I can <clears throat> with the games that are out can't really do much about that and before some dunce says oh well you see it's just a symptom no one likes you anymore yeah i've only been hearing that for 16 years no it's the games because why is it that the podcast still gets support and attendance my retro react streams are getting support and attendance it's just the current subject matter of the games that are out that's not doing it for people so things will change when new games come out but we got to get there all right so Regardless of the fact that today was a slow support day, I still had a great time. I'm really enjoying all the games I'm playing right now. <clears throat> but I am looking forward to relaxing and reacting with you all all day tomorrow. So I hope you'll join me for that fun. And of course, hopefully we'll have a good time uh, with that continuing. All right? Everyone, thank you very much. Have a good night. See you in the AM for the podcast, DSP versus the Internet. And of course, on the late stream for Retro Reactive Heavy Rain. Peace out. Have a good night. See you later.